So now that we've um, taken the time to go through the course compass areas and look at all these different buttons, or at least some of them, and give you some idea of what's available, now it's time to tackle looking at doing my math lab. So remember, this is my math lab window. It's, it's open at the same time that course compass is open. So keep that in mind. Um, you have a whole bunch of homework in here, if your instructor assigns any, or quizzes and tests. Again, if your instructor has signed some, here are some quizzes available here. And a lot, a lot of the time there'll be practice tests down here that you can take before you um, take a test in class. That's kind of nice. I've had a few students um, that practice and practice and practice on these tests before they come in to take the real ones, and they find that that really helps. Um, you can also look at things by chapter. So let's say you're in chapter three right now in your course. Click that, and you can see the quiz available and the tests available. If I go back to show all, it'll show everything available for chapter three. Cool? Alright, so that's how those buttons work. Now let's start dealing with an actual problem. So I'm going to click on a section. Actually, I don't want to do this section. Hold on one sec. There we go. I picked a different section. Um, this is section 2-2. Two, two. And you can see you have to solve this. So what number must be multiplied on both sides in order to isolate x on the left side of the equation? Okay, so this is the first time we're going to run into this. We're going to be using the symbol palette over here. Um, we have a whole bunch of different things available here. So you could type 7 and then click down here 5 and press enter. And it says I did it right. And now you can see I've got a little check mark above it because it's, it's telling me that I did it right. So you could click similar exercise and have to do another one like number one, or you can click on your arrow to number two and try to do this one. By what number is it necessary to multiply each side? Negative one. Enter. Cool. Next one. I think I should do one wrong. Let's do this. The solution set is two. Enter. Wah, wah, wah. Nope, didn't get it right. Okay, so it gives you a hint. And then you can try something else, like the solution is 1. Nope. And so on. And the solution is 5. And I can click Enter or Check Answer. And on the third try, it's telling me, nope, I got it wrong. It gives me the correct answer, which is 4. It has a little red mark over it. And it tells me what I answered the last time. And you can see that it's got a little red X over it. Now, if you want to do it again so you can get full credit, you click Similar Exercise, and then you try again. There, that one I got right, and then it replaces that red X with the green check mark because I got credit for it. Cool? All right, so that's how to check answers. What about, let's say, you know, your kids come in from the other room, you need to get out of here and quit for right now, but you need to come back to it later. Just click Save. And you can see it knows that I got the first three right, so I don't have to redo those. OK. Very cool. And then I can see my score. And when I click on the homework, I can see that I currently have 20% on that homework so far. Right, and if I go back into it, I just would start pick up where I left off. Alrighty then. Let me find some other thing. One second. Here's another one that's kind of nice to see. Sometimes they'll have you enter multiple answers like in a table form. So you have to um, type in the answers to each of these sections. You can click on them separately and click check answer. Cool. Did that right. All right. So you can see different things. So, oops, see, there's another one with multiple things. Okay. So what if I get um, one of them right? So that's a two. But I get the other ones wrong. Let's see what happens. Nope, right? It's making me redo all of them. Some instructors can set it so that it'll do, it'll leave the correct ones correct and um, phase out the other ones, and some will make you have to redo the whole thing. It just depends on the settings your instructor has in the course. Okie dokie. What else could we talk about? How about um, noticing you can see that it's yellow because I'm on problem seven right now. You can see which problem this was in the study plan or the textbook. It's actually number 35 from this section. You can see that there are 16 problems. I've only got one of them correct so far, right? 6.3% is my score so far. And you can see that this exercise, this one I'm working on right here, is worth one point. So there's a lot of information out here. Um, and this is section 3.1. And, and you got to know how to navigate it all. All right, I'll see you here next time for more entry stuff.